Something Winnie Entertainment decided to take a break from making really good shows to take a shot at something that is so abysmally horrible that abridging it in itself is going to be difficult because it does not have funny source material. They are taking In Another World with my smartphone and turned it into something, something, something smartphone abridged. I have no idea how they're going to do this because the source material is literally the equivalent of taking a hammer and seeing how many times you could hit yourself in the balls before you do physical damage. The answer is, why are you doing this? To which I would say, I have no idea. But if they make this work, those absolute mad lads, I am both excited and terrified to see what they can do here. You guys know the deal. Link below original video. And let's just see what they got into on this one. Oh, dear God. Welcome, Toria Mochizuki, to the realm of heaven. Heaven? I was about to say hell I for a second. I love what you with the place. It's very minimalist. Oh, well, there's much more to heaven than this 5 by 5 platform. For instance, there are way more clouds and harps. Harps like you wouldn't believe. Hops? Would you like a harp? I would love a harp. Oh, damn. I thought they said hops like, ooh, heaven beer. Nope. Harp, damn it. Harp. Drop it in, oh. drop it in. They're in storage. <clears throat> so, Heaven's broke uh, in this version. To what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, you did. Uh, God. You can call me God. Oh, of course. How silly of me. <laughs> Doy. Right. Listen, Toya. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Whoa, hold that thought, what? big guy. We gotta talk about today's sponsor. Surfshark. Are they actually dropping in a freaking ad read with a dish? No oh my god. Knows. The truth has been lost to time. What does it do? Man, you're just Why am I enjoying this? They're doing like an over the top 90s VHS commercial. A virtual private network, which is a radical tool that allows you to traverse the Oh my god, I just said 90s commercial and they pulled a freaking reboot. One. I am actually impressed someone bring up reboot. Two. Holy shit, I'm not the only person who knows what reboot is. I swear, it's like it was around so much. I remember it being like such a cool thing, and then it just kind of died, and no one said anything about it, ever. For highway, without your data being tracked <sighs> by unsavory characters, such as scammers, or I'm people that are paying he's become quite tech savvy. And oh, and that's from. And now he's stealing more than just Sigourney Weaver's baby. He wants that was your baby. Oh, that was Sigourney by Weaver. By retrieving your Netflix password with yeah, Surfshark VPN, Netflix still. you'll get notified if they password. detect your data's been leaked, giving you time to change your password before Vigo can judge your viewing history. Oh Speaking God, of which, why? you can use Surfshark VPN to spoof your location. I'm leaving you it in because it's actually useful. Might otherwise be just... unavailable in your country, such as Ghostbusters 2 starring Vigo the Gar... <laughs> they just... What is with Ghostbusters in this one? Oh, it's too bad they stopped after the th second one. They never made any more. He funny. thought he could hide out in Canada. No dice, you weasley little gremlin. It looks so no bad. It's like all this time. Protect your blue. babies from being Why? on the by using our promo code, Witty, to get three months free on a two-year subscription. That Are they making a joke in here somewhere? They're going to come back and like, did, did you just get an ad read? Yes, I broke. I hope that's what they do. I just want the interior monologue. Not even the hero monologue. The actual exterior monologue of the characters to talk about how they're so broke they had to put in an ad read. And I want that so much right now because it's such a textured ad. That's just two forty nine dollars a month. And oh, isn't God. They, got, worth that? they paid for Back this, too. To you, God. There's no easy way to say this. Ah, he's so... just moving on. I'm sorry. But you are somewhere between moderately and absolutely... Completely dead. Oh, is like that 50 all? Like 50% dead? Fine, I understand. Everyone has to die sometime. It must have just been my time, right? Oh, that's mm, really actually well thought that. out. What's wrong? You ain't is supposed to. Is there something to. you want to say, God? Well, yes, there is, young Toya. And uh, thankfully, your friendly disposition may help me deliver the news. Whatever do you mean? Oh, God. You were supposed to live for another 70 years. Years. Damn! What? What happened to me, God? Well, I sort of... I don't know why, but I... It, it just... <laughs> this is... This is a weird type of humor right now, where it's the complete lack of reaction to being dead. And the only time I can think of seeing this is, oddly enough, in Team Four Stars, Helsing Abridged, one of the final episodes, where the guy's like, oh, no, I was crushed to death. It's this little moment... Where they just switch it around. And he's like, oh no, I'm going to die. How horrible. It's like, I'm alive! And he's freaking out because of that. 
It's just that little moment of humor. Here, though, it's that same type of just absolutely muted reaction. Like, oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, I guess it's my time. Oh, I could have lived 70 years. Oh, what happened? It just It's that complete non-reaction. As opposed to this guy knowing how he should be reacting. He's like, ooh, yeah, this is my bad. If they were both going non-reaction, I think this is bad writing. But because we got someone, at least the god in this episode so far, being like, okay, I know this is bad. I'm acting as if it's bad. And it's coming across as if it's bad. And then it's making this stand out more that he is fucked in the head. <laughs> I like that. Sort of, kind of, maybe threw one to five lightning bolts at you while you were on the toilet. And uh, <laughs> One to five? I'm very sorry. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. After all, to air is human. Oh, <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> I'm such a goober. <laughs> I, uh, I should have made you a comedian instead of uh Really? Oh, boy. The guy who cares. Gamer? NT? I cannot even read that. Cancer. Okay. Oh, he cures cancer. <sighs> Toya, what can I do to make oh it Oh, my to you? God. You want a penthouse in heaven? Has a great view of the, uh... Honestly, you might want to get out of there. <clears throat> God doesn't even have a penthouse. I can get one from storage. Oh, I, I couldn't possibly. Really, it's fine. No, no, really. I'm just beside myself. Blank check. I will give you anything you want. What do I... <laughs> I'm going to be honest here. If they don't make some kind of joke that God can't have him in heaven because he can't afford the rent, I would love that right now. <laughs> oh, that'd be so stupid. I love I it. I gotta do it to make this right, Toya. Well... Golly, I mean, I guess if you really pushed me on it, I'd like to be is he God. Gaming it? Wait, what did he say? They pushed me on it. I'd like to be God. Damn. <laughs> Have you what? seen where he lives? You heard me, old man. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and the mask comes off. He's an absolute asshole. Just that little thing that you heard me, old man. It just because before he was so like I thought he was just fucking mentally ill. No, he's he's definitely putting up a face right now. You what now? You heard me, old man. Just the tone change. I feel as though there has been a turn. Well, what yes. did you expect from the person you accidentally killed with lightning on the toilet? Five to six was times. funny! See? This is why you weren't a comedian. Or the guy who cured cancer. Look! <laughs> you're gonna take your gosh on heaven penthouse, and you're gonna be grateful! No. Unless you want me to send you downstairs. <laughs> oh, you don't want to do that. Why not? There's lots of people down there that you don't want hearing about this. Loose lips and whatnot. Okay, that's ominous. What does yes. that mean? Uh, put a pin in that, Bubby. I gotta make a call. Bubby? Wait, who are you Bobby? calling? You're dead! Lucy, what? Lucy, hey! Lucy? Lucy? Are you calling Satan? His uh, friends call him Lucy. How do you have his number? <laughs> I don't even have that number! <laughs> You're bluffing! How uh, is Damien? No Damien. Uh-uh. Preschool already? <laughs> they grow up so fast. What? Now Fifteen. <laughs> He's actually trying to. <laughs> okay, this has already surpassed all my expectations. I thought, okay, they're making a joke if he's just overly nice. No, this is a manipulative asshole who knows exactly what he's doing, and I love it. Sorry, I love it when you get characters who are just so over the top that they're just it's like, you know what? I got nothing to lose anymore. We're gonna have fun with it. <laughs> you can't relate to that. Blub, I say. Mm? Oh, yeah, that's just God in the background. Yeah, I'll tell him he said that. Speaking of, turns out that I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Smited. Guess how? It's a great story. All right, all right. Just hang up the phone. All right, all right. Sorry, I gotta go, Lucy. Great catching up, though. We gotta talk more often. Kisses. Oh, Don't you kiss Satan. Don't you kiss phone Satan in front of me. <sighs> so that was Satan. I know who it was. <laughs> what did he say? He says he loves you. No, oh, he would say that, that son of a bitch. <laughs> Isn't he your son? <laughs> so I yep. can't make you God, but I can give you the next best thing. <laughs> that is this grab. I'm listening. I can't send you back to your world. Listen to me. But I can send you to another world. 
a better world. Hmm. Debatable. With magic and adventure and uh, uh, your smartphone. Uh, I mean, it's kind of old. A new yeah. smartphone, a future smartphone, an it iPhone 20, no, 30. Does it have a headphone jack? It oh, you just had to throw in the headphone jack. I'm still salty about that. Apple thought, hey, let's get rid of it to save space and not just sell our own overpriced piles of crap. And then everyone's like, wait, we can get rid of it, not have to make it, and then charge them more? Ugh, you just have to throw it in there. It pipes music directly into your brain. I'd rather have a headphone jack. Yeah, Fine. same here. It can do both now. You're just get ads directly to your brain so then. so picky. All right, I'm like halfway there. Yeah. Win that pot, baby. Can't leave port if you don't raise that sail. All right, oh you'll just God. be the best, okay? At everything. Magic, fight. I'll be honest, I think they don't even need to give him anything this time around. This version of him is such an absolute charisma 20 player that I think he'd just be funnier if they just dropped him in right now. At least how they're playing him. Girls, they're a skill now. You'll be set for life. And Wait, what do you mean now? That's always been a skill check. I know what I said. I just realized I agreed with myself. I hope my wife never sees this. Anything else I can do for you, your highness? Just make that literal. One last little thing. Oh no. I want your phone number. And when I call it, I want you to answer. <laughs> Three rings or less. <laughs> or I'll just have to call someone else. Oh my you God. are so awful. Yes. Well, I was made in your image, sir. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, right, you sack of shit. Get out of my 5x5. Five five. <laughs> oh my god, they've actually made this funny. This is literally like the worst anime done well. And so, it begins. What is he gonna do? Hey, I, just met you, and this is crazy. I hate everything about this intro. It actually makes sense, that's the worst part. I wonder what there is to do in this world. Guess I should ask. Take over. Is he actually calling God? You just left. What do you <laughs> want? Oh, good. You picked up. You learned quickly. I like that in a subordinate. That was one and a half rings, though. Maybe. Oh my God. <laughs> just. <laughs> That's why I like a subordinate. I just. <laughs> I thought they were good at, at arrogant characters. They did Kirito. And he was insane. They made him so arrogant. It was honestly a really fun character to arc with him. This time around, though, no. This is literally talking down to God and getting your way because you got Satan on speed dial. Honestly, a little surprised they didn't make a joke about Iron Mouse right there. That would have been perfectly timed, but details. You can get that down to a one ringer, maybe half a ring, set some goals. You're being very unreasonable right now. Yes. So what's there to do around here? What do I look like? Adventure. A concierge? Well, not yet, but maybe with some hustle, you can work your way up. You know, normally I test people. Speaking of... <laughs> He's testing all right. You know how to read the language around these parts, Mr. Doyer? I, uh... Probably not, being that it's a mix of Klingon, Dothraki, and only the clicking parts of Dahalo, an endangered South Cushitic language of Kenya, Oddly enough, I think Trevor Noah, the former host of The Daily Show, could speak that language unironically. Hmm. Also, Klingon and Dothraki. There's so many geeks out there who just had their mind exploded by having those two put together. Admittedly, though, they kind of do make sense, and I could freaking... Oh, yeah, I could see Jason Momoa playing a Klingon. He does have the aesthetic. Yeah. Can you read the clicking parts of the hollow asshole? There's reading well, if parts? you ask nicely. N no, no, you're lying. Oh, sorry, I gotta, gotta put you on speaker real Please quick. Put him put me on let speaker. him actually speak Don't language. You put God on speaker. You're on speaker. And looks like there's nothing around for miles. Yeah, I dropped you in the middle of nowhere. Enjoy the thought that you won't even be able to read your own tombstone, fucker. <laughs> Second time. Did somebody say tombstone, fucker? What? Translating speech. Wow, that's a cool feature. Thanks, God. Why? Why did I make it do that? <laughs> I don't know which is funnier. Just the fact that they have a good reason saying he's on speakerphone to keep God as a character throughout the entire show now. 
Or that the first line of this character is that somebody say, Tombstone fucker. I don't just want to. <laughs> They're going all out with this one. Hello, my name is Mike the Millionaire, and I'd like to become Mike the Clothes Owner. Will what? you help this small town millionaire achieve his big time dreams? Hmm. What? By trading me your clothes hmm. for many golden coins? Hmm. You're better than this, Mike! No, he's not. Ah, uh, you're breaking my balls, Mike. Tell you what, throw in a new set of duds and you got yourself a deal. What do you even want them for, anyway? I wish to smell them! Never mind! I don't want to know! In an explicitly sexual manner! M Mike, what did I just say? Inside of my explicitly sexual manner! Cool! I'm surprised I didn't say this guy's name was Jeffrey. I'm not going to go further on that joke, but you can probably figure it out. So do you guys do, like, receipts or...? There will be time for that later, young master! First, Master? allow me to regale you with tales of my explicitly sexual manner. And now that you know what lies in you know what? I think he's gonna foyer, get a pretty rough job. The dining room and the book nook. You can only imagine the high stakes orgasms of the ballroom. <laughs> do take this the wrong way, Mike. But I wish you died in infancy. My apologies. As recompense, please accept. I thought this was going to be just, okay, we have the character who's crazy now and everyone else is just going to deal with it. No, I think he's being sent to a world where his level of assholery is somehow muted by comparison. If every character is this level of over the top, I think I'll love this show. <laughs> oh my God. Except many golden coins. They even put the you know, sound effect in. As a favor to you, I will do that. Did they edit him in it here? It has not I think been they a did. pleasure, Mike. I think they actually edited him on the B-roll of the thing behind it because he's more blurry than the background. And also his, yeah, the line shading is different. So they took him from another site and put him in perfectly. Oh, that's so cool. I can barely even tell unless that's the source material. And it just looks like that in the actual show. That would be disturbing. Mike, goodbye forever. Goodbye, new best friend. Oh, no. Drown in a two-inch pond, Mike. Drown in a two-inch pond. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! If a two-foot dick oh. couldn't choke me, a two-inch pond cannot possibly do the job. Goodbye was such a strong last line, Mike. <laughs> I still have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> he is just a... I swear, this is such a horrible source material that something with entertainment is just allowing themselves to make every joke they don't want to do on a show they think might get a second episode. This isn't pilot. This isn't episode one. This is just a standalone, and they are going to town on this. Oh my god. How did they actually get this up on YouTube? Hey, for data? Where would I even send the bill? The church? God. Thus, to reinstate my thesis, give us at least all your money. What? Or perhaps, if you're destitute, we could offer you a high interest loan. Which we would then steal. Oh, Thus, loan stealing sharks. stealing from you twice. Got him. <laughs> Got him indeed, Greg. We're so good at crimes. How many times do I have to explain this to you, Greg? That thing in your hand that you keep trying to rob us with? One, it is not a viable weapon. It is not sharp, Greg. Two, as it is made of fucking diamonds, it is worth a lot of money. If you sell it, you get way more than the no money that we have, Greg. Looking at you as well, Thomas. How dare you? My great grandmother oh my gave God. me this diamond stabbing implement on her deathbed. She told me to only give it to the woman I'd marry someday. I could never dishonor her memory by selling it. No. I love thugs with priorities. Give us your golden coins, or we'll stab you between two and seventy-nine times. Oh, you know, shut the door. Specific. Thomas, will you marry me? Yeah. Uh, Greg. Yeah. Now? When you feel it, you know. <laughs> and I know I feel it right now. In the middle of this armed robbery. Greg. Is that guy's being armed? Hi. 
No! <laughs> A special moment! Would you ladies by chance be in need of some oh, wow. assistance? Yes! You shattered his grandmama's diamond antler! That was diamond? Huh. For his grandmother! And for our few! Whoa, everything's in slow motion. Dead. That did not sound good. <laughs> you choking Say your sound bones effects. wouldn't happen to be stronger than diamonds, would they? Thomas! Nope! You never answered me! When Thomas's spinal column crumpled like a damp paper towel, did that imply to you a wealth of structural integrity? Yeah, I'm really just grasping at straws. Never killed a man before. Quick <laughs> sidebar, what's your country's stance on murder? Oh, it's widely accepted. It's our national pastime! Troubling. Oh, they're in America. But convenient! Maybe I can go pro with this. He could join the league! <laughs> uh, don't tell him about the league. What? My name is Toya. <laughs> Learn it well. Hi there, Toy! So close. My name is Elise, and this is my twin sister, Lens. Thank you for saving us! I mean, we could have saved ourselves, but whatever. Yeah! How can we ever repay you? Um, we don't owe him shit. Well, being that you do totally owe me, I like tea. <gasps> Had tea before? Oh, you poor, deprived child. Even as a joke, I fully agree with the crazy asshole man about being deprived if you've never had tea. That is a horrible, horrible state of being, and I'm sure it's bullshit, but I don't care. That is a horrible thing to say. Why don't I teach you the magic of tea? Say, over tea? Is this what tea is? It's like hot leaf juice. Yes, and You're it's right. amazing. <laughs> You're right. I don't think I like it very much. Monster. Can I have more? Of course. You that is how it works. Want, pumpkin. Please don't call my sister Pumpkin. You got it, long hair. I, my name Still is Still better Elise. than Pumpkin. Say it with me. Elise. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just terrible with names. I use nicknames as a coping mechanism. Oh, I hope I haven't shit. offended you, long hair. He's just bullshitting them, isn't he? He is an absolute scam artist, isn't he? He did the same thing in the beginning with God, like playing up the nice guy aspect. He's like, ah, oh, it had to happen until he went full on. Now you owe me. And he's doing it here too. It's kind of funny they're making it a pattern of his actual characterization. Maybe workshop that nickname. Good call, Clown Nose. I... What? Clown Nose? Oh, That's worse. Sorry, I, I guess it's not that red. <laughs> cool, so she's distracted. Muffin, what's your deal? What? Muffin? Tea? Who's that tea? Do you have tea? Okay, cool. I think I found your thing. So how do you make money in this world? You can sell tea to me, me tea, tea for me, all the tea. Tea time is the me time for tea. You can sell tea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Nosy, what you got? <laughs> They're all well, insane. If we really want some coin, we could take on a quest. A quest, you say? Show me this quest. Oh. This is the Adventurer's Guild quest board. You can find all sorts of work here. The more difficult. Sell tea to me. Me tea, tea for me. All the tea. Tea time is the me time. For tea? Oh my god. They actually put that in. It's <laughs> the entire thing she just said the quest, too. the more money you'll get for completing it. Okay, okay. So I can't read any of this. Yep. Who wants to read them aloud for me? You can't read? I may or may not be able to read, but either way, <laughs> I choose not to. Power move. Uh, okay, we can it do this It actually is, one. too. Looks like this quest here could get us as much as four... What? Four copper pieces each? Gold coins are worth more than copper coins, right? <laughs> like a lot more. Why do you ask? Well, how much is this worth here? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the shining gold light. So if you live modestly, you'll never have to work a day in your life. <laughs> I love this. His characterization is perfect right now. It's just like, the modestly, you're fine. And then just the idea of being modest, it just makes him modest. Oh, I love the consistency. It works. No. No. Oh. If it was yeah, half this good, I would actually watch the show. Why not? Would you consider owning a fleet of conjoined helicarriers, each with its own department of luxury, encased in gold and cruising above the earth, armed with enough super science to make Isaac Asimov bust a proverbial nut to be a modest living? I have 
no idea what the fuck you just said. Exactly! This is why you don't have many gold coins! <laughs> you don't think big enough! Not like me. I got big time dreams. Helicarrier dream. Oh my god, they even gave him the 20 snake oil barker accent. I got big time dreams, say? If he says sunny or the word C after, I'm just going to lose it. That would be so on the nose right there. And step numero uno to achieving those dreams is learning magic. Muffin, teach me all the magic. <laughs> Muffin, tell him no. Clown knows. He gave me tea. <laughs> I owe him a life debt. <laughs> Toy, take this. And I'll call okay. your now, too. use it. Wait, so just take it. <laughs> now I know all the magic. There is no way that's possible. What are you? <laughs> She's literally the only sane person, and I love every second about this. Technically, God was also sane, but then he became more crazy as it went, and it shows everyone else is insane too. He is the over the top asshole. The previous guy was the over the top person whose reference material I cannot mention on YouTube. She is the absolute tea addict. Who has literally sold out everything to get it and she's just either going like i hate everything about this world it is literally no one who understands what's going on the one sane person who by definition would then be the crazy one but everyone else is sane silence my loyal but homely attendant <laughs> these new powers of mine must be tested quickly find me a victim i have nothing but respect for you samurai and i you partner <laughs> Oh, Shall wow. Shall we spar as equals? Andy is friends! A horde of friends! There ain't no grouping of friends I prefer what? more. Worry not, fair maiden. I, the great Toya, shall save you. Blending tank. Ah! Ah! My eyes! Ooh, someone call the police! Mm. Test seem inconclusive. Okay! Does anyone know how to glue a face back on? Yeah, please Sand would do that. Tell me. Now, we should go now. We should go right now. Random murder. You done killed all my friends back there. You know what that means, don't you? Means I'll be needing some new friends. Y'all got an opening? I had references, but, uh, yeah. I have no strong feelings about this. Girls, just... how about you handle this one? As much as Toya did murder all, all your insane. friends, we can't just pick up drifters off the street. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you suggest that I can't do something? Through what mechanism do you think you could It's stop so stupid. Me? You know what? I'm, I'm intrigued. Congratulations. You're hired. Hooray. Henceforth, you shall be known as... My name's Yai. Yeah, hold, hold on there, Wombo, Tubo, Redbo, Bluebo. There's a process to this. Or you can just oh. call me Yai. Nope. It took real guts to stand up to me like you just did. You get to keep your name. <laughs> She gets to keep her name! Because I am petty as well as powerful, and fickle as I am fine. This is bullshit. Yes. You're bullshit. You're yes, not it is. wrong. To the forest! What? This is your transition. Go get this card. And these are your horses. I won't lie to you, Yai. I bought them. <laughs> oh. With my money. Why did you say oh. the first part? Like it was something to be ashamed of. To reassure us. He seems like a stand up guy. Money I received from selling my clothes to an insane pervert. Yeah, tell less truth next time. Toy He's still hiding just how insane, so technically he is telling less truth. Hey, I got you this book. Aw, how tea. correct of you, Muffin. Now you give me something. Uh, thank you? More. That's an to a conversation if I've ever heard one. Who wants to read this book to me? Depend what? Depends on what's in it. Finding out would involve reading at least the title, and well, I'm allergic, you see. I thought you said you couldn't read. On account of my crippling allergy. It's a book of null magic. No magic? That wasn't one of the types of magic you taught me. You withheld information? No tea for no, you? No, it's not like that. Each null magic spell is specific to the person. Oh, so you didn't think that I was a person? But Toy, I... You wound me, Muffin Sensei. And you, Pound Nose. I'm busting you all the way down to Thunder Thighs. <laughs> I didn't do anything! <laughs> exactly. You failed to stop this travesty and other... I'm sorry. It's just so stupid right now. This is literally so over the top. If this wasn't almost guaranteed to be a one-shot, I would wish this was a real full abridge they were doing because I'm actually enjoying this. It's just... It's insane. It's out of the way. It's just 
jumping everywhere. If I was watching this show unironically, like not even the abridged, but the actual show, I'd be like, I can't do this. This is so stupid. But because they're making it so blatantly crazy that everyone is so hyped up beyond even the usual levels of an abridged, it's just really good. I just, oh, wow. Just it's just good writing. It's just funny. It's over the top. It's just the best parts about everything a bridge should be. And they're letting themselves do something incredibly stupid because they probably aren't worried about doing more with it. Therefore, complicit in her misdeeds. This is oh, definitely going to turn out to be a fever dream. Is Y'all it? are fun. As are you, guy. As are you. I have summoned lizards with the equivalent strength. Of is he a lizard wizard? Lizard. Nah, they have no weaknesses or strengths. Their only weakness. Death. Good job, gang. We took down the lizards with no weaknesses. They also had no strengths. And with any luck, history will only remember the first thing. <laughs> we owe you our lives. Being that we're allergic to fighting, there's no way we could oppose those lizards. I have so many questions for you. There's no time! The mistress's <laughs> butler is dying and- What if I wanted there to be more time? Well, I wouldn't fight you on it, of course. Someone! Save my butler! Ah, yeah. That. Please help him! The lizard men were blown up so violently! A piece of one was launched inside him! There oh, it's literally his fault! Thoughtless- ch Shut up! Thoughtless people in this world. Move aside, man. the way of your own damage. should heal him. Whatever you do, make sure you- Heal! Remove the piece. Out the lizard junk first. <gasps> All right. Oh. Uh, hey, my life. Not yet. Hey, me sprays a spring chicken and justice. Great. <laughs> Those are the sounds of vitality. You can trust me. I'm a wizard. Oh, this you is fucked such up. wonderful news. We must return to my home in the capital. Duke Ordeline will reward you with anyone you want. Anyone? Well, that sounds. Wait. Did you say anyone? They even put in the They even put in the no nah effect. They put in the dramatic horn. Oh my god. And that's why they said anyone. Oh we got here. Sushi! Father! Sushi. <laughs> oh, that's getting creepy. You there! <laughs> You must be the ones who saved my dear Sushi. Oh my god, her name is Sushi? Of course. Why? For saving my dear Sushi, I hereby grant you permission to have brunch with me. No, I think we... Or consequences. Your choice, really. You know, I was just thinking we were all hungry and didn't have another... And now we've gotten someone so over the top that they out over the top him. Because God came off as too modest. Oh my, this is... It's playing his trope to the hilt that he respects the over-the-top audacity. It actually isn't even like it's being thrown into our face. The fact that I here was just like, I want to be I. Well, what if your name is? No, my name is I. Just that little bit of strength shown to him. is like, oh, well, if you're going to uh, talk over me, I'm going to listen to you. Because as much as they're a complete over-the-top asshole, anyone who talks back to them wins. Except for this person. Sorry, Clown is or is it Thunder's Thighs now? I don't remember. And this person, just by the over-the-top wealth, is immediately just like, <laughs> you will listen to me. He talks down to God because God came off as too poor. Oh, I don't even... This is a complete and utter horrible person. I love watching this. Just I hate myself what for What similar thoughts we had. The brunch! So you're sure that your friends can't sit with us? No. They need to know their place. Oh, good. I didn't want to say anything, but I do hate all women. Glad to meet a like-minded individual. No, I just mean they're stupid and annoying. Yes, women are annoying and stupid. They're just going all out no, on the horrible. No, I just meant those women specifically. Yes, those women. You have a daughter! Yep, Sushi! Father! <laughs> I'll leave. I'll do it. No, no. Stay. Oh God, that got so creepy. Like unironically, I'm getting goosebumps from just being like, nope.
so much nope right now. I thought that early guys like, I want your clothes was going to be the weird point that no, this is. And just that little just discordant keyboard as no, it's like flat out piano notes. Oh, it just gets so much worth. Like the gr the grunting and <laughs> I'll leave. Lobo. I'll do it. No. He's out creeped. Sushi, how is Ellen doing today? Not so well, Father. She's seen better days. Ha! Who's Ellen? Sorry, it's funny because she's blind. Anyway, sweetie, as we all know, we've all done all we can for her as she is a woman and therefore weak. All of today's modern medicine can no longer help her. Well, have you tried magic? <laughs> have we tried magic? <laughs> ha have we tried magic? No, we haven't tried magic. Why haven't we tried magic? <laughs> Young Toya, do you have magic? Yes. I do have magic. But it'll cost you. Oh. Say no more. No sum of money is too great for my Ellen's health. Oh, I think you'd be surprised. The money of my people is no object to me. I'll just raise taxes again. You know, I've never felt guilty about taking money before. <laughs> Please tell me the next line is, and I won't start now. So why start now? Call it! Recovery! She just, there. he literally All just slapped better. her face. By the way, who the hell is this? Mother? Father? Mother? Uh, oh, so something must have gone wrong. She thinks you're her parents. Daughter! Oh, Daughter? Sweet baby girl! What? <laughs> oh yeah, that's anime for you. <laughs> no! I thought... No! 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 Oh, okay, one, I love the mind break moment right here, and it gets so much creepier. It's so creepy. This is so creepy. I want to watch it again. No! I thought... No! Is this where he wakes up? No! No! Thank you for saving our daughter. Ellen sure does look like a 30-year-old woman. Doesn't she? Came out the womb like that. Nearly God. split sushi in half, she did. So sushi is your wife? I thought she was your daughter! She can do both. No! no that, that's the worst answer! I'm with him on this As one! Thanks for saving my daughters. They're going full Targaryen! Take the Splatinum Sphere! Excellent! Well, now that we've gotten our payment, we can just. But mere currency alone could never express my gratitude for what you've done. Never talking about your I family situation, Mike. Try giving me more money and see if you feel better. <laughs> oh no, I'm out of that. Could I perhaps interest you in a child bride? I... The 30-year-old one? Want to break off a piece of young sushi here? Break a piece of me. Do it. I think I'm good. Would you like a child bride? Why did you think singing it would make it better? Didn't it? I must have been off key. Are they actually going to do a musical number? I hope they start one and just cut it right there to actually imply they did a full number. Come, harmonize with me. And one, and two, and three, four, five. Would, Would you, you like, like a, a child, child ride? ride? <laughs> Damn it, Liam, you ruined it. Get the maids, we're going to need a choir. Quick, we need to leave while well, they're distracted. Aw, but it was just getting good. Now, Lens! <laughs> and a one, and a two, and a... <laughs> what? Ah... All in all, I'm satisfied with today. Really? We did a lot of good. Yeah, they might actually have. That was very much of a thing. <laughs> and it was... And then they... As you can tell, I'm a little blown away by just what the fuck we just saw. Because this... This was a lot... Every step of the way, it just got weirder and crazier and more insane. And I know I already basically repeated myself there by saying weirder, crazier, and more insane because they're kind of all synonyms. Technically not weird, but I'm going to assume it is. But they just kept doing it. And honestly, if this had gone on longer, it probably would have got even weirder. Which admittedly would be kind of amazing. But also at the same time, they went there so many times in so many ways that... You just don't see that on YouTube anymore, especially with abridging, which is usually a lot safer now. They might put edgier jokes in, but they don't usually go full on that. They went to full Jeffrey. 
And I'm going to leave it there. I need time to just internalize what I just experienced. Because if for some reason they ever made a second episode, what could they possibly do to out crazy this one? Because this isn't a show that it looks like they're doing a long run here. This is a, hey, what's a good excuse to see just how much we can get away with before someone realizes we did this. We did all of this. I fully believe that everyone involved in this writing process, I think there's actually quite a few writers on it, they all got together. They all got really drunk at LAX or I guess maybe if it was in Canada, one of the Canadian anime conventions. And they just happened to type this up while being completely shit-faced. They looked at it as like, oh my god, I can't believe we wrote this. We can never use it. Waited until they got shit-faced again, recorded all of that. It's like, you know what? We already got a few lines in. We might as well just go all the way on this thing. I am impressed and terrified, and I love every second of this. I'm going to say something I know I will regret. I want to go and watch the source material to see just how much they improved it. I know about this show. I know how bad this would get. But I want to see it now. I shouldn't. But I do. So I'm going to go torture myself by doing that. Because sure, why not? I mean, why not would literally be all the other reasons of previously stated reasons of this is being stupid, a show, and a horrible, and why am I talking like this? The craziness is getting to me. That must be it. All the same. I'm going to go torture myself by watching the original source material because, sure, I hate myself enough to actually want to do that now. And I'll see you guys in the next one when I admittedly have second thoughts and probably just twitch a bit, remembering how horrible it was. Yeah. But that's a problem for future me. And future me is a dick, so he'll deal with it then. More importantly, link below original video. Hit it up. It's something where entertainment. They're awesome. Let them know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.